Hello loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, this is Nancy Vlogs. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for coming back for more content. Yeah, and today basically I'm as the title states, we are going to do my makeup as I tell you or as I give you some tips that I used for myself to lose weight. So yeah, uh, I'm going first to put my previous two state here in how I'm looking and I'm going to tell you what I've been using and what tips I've been following for me to lose weight. So follow along and a disclaimer, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a doctor, whatever works for me might not work for you. but. It's a great way to start. My weight losing journey has not been that simple. It has taken a uh, lot of discipline and lots of struggle. Yeah, na mingi. So the first thing that you're going to have to use to to use or to have to lose your weight is making a decision. You have to be specific and you will have to be like um, your mind should be well made up that you are ready to lose your weight yeah so that you won't be going back and forth like starting then two days later you're not doing the same so you'll have to first make up your mind make up your mind that's the first thing you're going to do for you to have a very successful weight loss journey tip number two You'll have to have discipline. You'll have to have discipline. If you start, if for example, you are going to start with the gym, uh, you'll have to push yourself, have discipline, and make sure you do whatever you are needed to do each and every day, or whatever it is that you're going to do yeah so those are the most i think to me they're the most sensational things to do yeah so talking about me and how i did lose my way uh i started off fasting and there's a lot of, there, there's there is a lot of way of there are lots of way of fasting uh, one way of fasting is changing your oils, changing your diet. That is a way of fasting. So you can change your vegetable oils to extra virgin oils, olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oils. Yeah. So that's one way of starting your fasting. So when you change your oils or rather what you eat, uh, that will be your first step of fasting if you are able to move from that step of fasting you can go on and start maybe fasting for 12 for eight hours in a day and then you'll move up to 12 hours in a day 16 hours 18 hours and 19 hours that's how i do that's how i fast i fast a 19 to 19 hours and mostly i do only water or it's rather called rabbit uh, fasting where I'll take a lot of vegetables and also I take one meal in a day but for a start you could, you could start with taking a, your your breakfast uh, a little bit late and taking your dinner a little bit earlier so this comes to it uh, there is one tip if you want to lose your weight one tip you're going to do make sure you take your dinner earlier yeah so in this case try and take your dinner like three hours or four hours before your bedtime i don't know for me to work for me uh, i always take my dinner as early as possible so it gives me like four hours or three hours before i go to bed and to me at that moment my digestive system has already worked a little bit on what i have i had already consumed yeah uh 
the next thing that I'm going to or the next tip that I use to lose my weight uh, I started taking I started taking apple cider vinegar it works guys it works just try it uh, in the morning on an empty stomach just take two tablespoons of uh, apple cider vinegar into hot water and drink it on your empty stomach every day or you can alternate with ginger shots and those other kind of shots if you are a fan of shots uh, I, I started off with shots and but uh, at a point but I'm going to I'm planning to go back to do ginger shots in uh, so every morning and this is how I'm going to be doing it if Monday I take uh, apple cider vinegar the next day then I'll take my shots as simple as that uh, another tip that I used to lose my way I changed my food whatever I was eating uh, I used uh, my favorite food I'll say it's chapati or something anything with fortified flour that's my favorite but I had to cut myself from that and so I started on eating more of of other roots uh, sweet potatoes legura potatoes uh, bananas so as you as you know from what I eat in a week my previous video if you have not watched that you should go and watch it's going to help you also if you're trying to change your meals or you are trying to start on your fasting whatever I eat on the video that I did on what I eat in a week it's going to help you also to navigate your way as you are starting off your fasting journey yeah so I changed my meals uh, I rarely take I rarely take uh, bread chapatis and those those food the fast food and in general saying fast food yeah so I changed on that and tapped in in eating healthy and clean trust you guys when you start eating healthy I, I mean clean when you start eating clean hmm, you're going to see a very big change on your weight loss journey if you are really struggling with uh, food addiction actually I was suffering from a food addiction it's just that I didn't yet know uh, because I could eat a lot I could be as long as I was breathing and not asleep I could eat but uh, it was easy to start on fasting uh, because I started on first changing my my food and what I used to eat what I used for my cooking especially the oils uh, and the ingredients so you'll have to first work on those things slowly by slowly as you go up and that that's the best way that you're going to start on your fasting journey so yeah uh, and also try and do uh, most uh, I mean research before you start on your fasting it's going to help you or it's going to give you an easy time whenever you start on your fasting journey yeah so try as most as much as possible to avoid the fast foods so that's it uh, also guys try your best to escape stress yeah I know it's not easy uh, to escape stress but the best way or the best tip to escape stress is just 
get something uh, identify something that whenever you are doing or whenever that thing is going on that it's keeping you away from every st or every stress that's come to your mind or stress to haunt you down for me what i like to do is going to four walks and it works perfectly for me in this and in this i always like kill two birds in the time i count my steps and also lose stress at the same time uh other people you can try even try you can try doing something like painting uh you can try doing makeup to lose your stress listen to music or do something that you love to do so that you can it can keep you away from stress so that's another thing for you to do and and it's easier for a, for someone who is trying to lose weight to lose weight fast and fast like in a if you're trying to lose weight and you are not and you're still dealing with stress you're going to struggle with losing losing your weight trust you me you're going to struggle you're going to struggle but whenever you know how to tackle your stress it's going to be an easy journey for you so try as much as possible to stay away from stress or to control your stress and that's it uh another thing is build a sleeping schedule yes try as much as to get much sleep as you can uh, uh at this point eight hours for me i take i do sleep for seven to eight hours a day and in on sundays i might sleep 12 hours <laughs> don't judge me i like resting up on sundays so yeah so try and build a sleeping schedule it's going to help you with weight loss like the small small things that we ignore and that seem hard i know they are hard because there's nothing much harder than getting into a sleeping schedule it's really hard it's really hard but if you try just keep your phone away uh put your lights off close your eyes pretend to sleep and you'll sleep it's that simple to sleep <laughs> so yeah uh to my next step of you losing weight just imagine this far that you have got we have not yet gone to the gym we are still in our house relaxed because i am here like and i lost lots of weight and i didn't go to the gym i've been just i just changed my diet sleeping schedule reducing stress yeah fasting and also my next tip is reduce or reduce sugar or if it's possible stay away from refined sugar refined sugar stay away from refined sugar at this point refined sugar is going to be your enemy this is why before before your body gets to your fats or it gets to use your fats that you have in your body uh for you to lose weight it start first it always goes for the sugar and if you always have sugar in your body or in your running body like it has sugar your body is always will always go fast for the sugar before for the fats so it's not going to take your energy out of the fats that you're trying to lose it's going to take it out of the sugar so if you want to lose the fat you have to cut off the refined sugar don't get me wrong like uh sugar is a important part of our body and you can get sugar from most uh natural things like fruits sugar canes just try not to take refined sugar for me totally i don't have sugar in my house like that sugar that you add to your tea i don't have uh i also did put away honey i also don't have honey in my house yeah i know it sounds a little bit weird but that's a way for me disciplining myself if i have it here i'm going to use it so why have it here and i'm going to use it so the best way for me to stay in discipline is not having it 
so do this if you want to stay in discipline for or in what you consume you consume just get it away from you just cancel it a hundred percent out of your life that's simple next thing you're going to um replace you're going to replace each and every kind of soft drink that you like with water okay so if you like sodas if you like juices each and every kind of carbonated drink all those sweetened drink just keep it away and whenever you feel that instead of going getting a coke take water it's going to help you and in this case i really i would really encourage you to get apple cider vinegar and green tea this is why wherever or whenever i take green tea or take uh my my glass of apple cider vinegar i always have the urge in the whole of the day i'll still have the urge of drinking water and most likely i end up drinking lots lots of water if you struggle with drinking water just try it take your um, take your um, uh your green tea in the morning uh and take your um, apple cider in the morning and you'll see the change that will bring to you you're going to be dehydrated so every time you feel thirst instead of taking that soft drink take your water the next tip that's going to help you is to move your body uh, find a or a favorite uh, activity for you to do for instance walking dancing swimming you can mention everything try as much as like rice rice in a week try as much to walk go or dance in your house just keep your body moving okay try and to keep your body moving in this way it's you're going to help in the fat burning process so my favorite is going to walk you have already seen me going for walks i always go for walks i can just can't just go like that without me going for a walk and i also enjoy swimming so those are my most favorite activities to do for keeping my body in motion okay so if you're a busy person uh if you work like eight to five a uh, you have a job of eight to five you can try and do this if you're going to work with the matatus try not to take a boda boda from your place to the stage walk from here from there to stage or walk to your working station try as much to keep your body in motion the next step or into the next tip that we are going we are going to use is to trust the process okay you have to trust the process you can't just start like you're fasting today you let's say today's on monday you started fasting today so you have fasted for the whole week you also took walks you also drank lots of water you changed your diet it's not going to happen overnight like it's not going to happen in three days like in three days you are in your mirror and you are looking at yourself and you say there's no changes no trust the process if not the changes if even if the changes are not seeing you're not seeing them they are happening uh what happened to me until to date i don't see myself changing actually but other people tell always tell me ah nancy you have changed you have changed in this way in these parts so trust the process don't give up trust the process keep on going not everything that's working for others is going to work for you so just try take yourself into your face hmm? don't rush your body don't rush your, yourself take it easy on you and love each and every change that will come love each and every change that is going to come into my next tip uh this is it put your effort put your time in your journey okay put your time in your journey this is what I mean. Lots of people uh, are really willing to lose weight. 
most many of us are really willing to lose weight but we are not ready mm -mm, to put in the effort like uh if you are working like six days a week uh, eight to five and that should not be your excuse at all at all try and put effort in it okay and this is how you're going to do it try if it's food to avoid taking uh, fast food do meal prep hmm? it's going to help you a lot just meal prep in a way that when you just get out from work you're coming and warming your clean healthy food okay take time maybe on sundays and meal prep the fasting process is too hard on you you can try to snacks to snack on fruits okay just try to snack on fruits or make a salad fruit salads are best in what uh, are best in snacks or you are best things that you're going to alternate in for your snacks so whenever you are feeling so hungry like you can't go on just make a fruit salad enjoy it okay but just make sure that you are still on the journey okay make sure you're still on the journey don't move away from the goal okay don't move away from the goal it's not going to be easy i won't lie to you it's not going to be easy but as long as you put your effort in you won't even notice how you made it you'll be like oh i made it i won't lie to you and say that uh, i'm at my body goal yet i'm not there yet uh i'm manifesting gym money you need to go to the gym and tighten this body up get some abs maybe <laughs> yeah but all it's a process um still i uh, i have not yet made that decision but trust you me when i make the decision i always put my mind into it so whenever i put my mind into going to that gym i'm going to hit it seriously and hard so guys this is my complete makeup look for today uh so yeah make sure you start today if you're willing start today and tomorrow it will be easier you're going to make it so start it immediately thank you for watching to this far and again if you have not subscribed or it's your first time here welcome back here make sure you subscribe share this little video give it a thumbs up and i will see you on my next one bye